What's going on guys and welcome to part two of our Gatlinburg series. We started off by going to the Log Cabin Pancake House, which was fast, delicious, and cheap, so I highly recommend it if you're staying in Gatlinburg. Now, we're going to Bucky's, which is currently the U.S. largest gas station, and we can't wait to go, so let's head there now. So this Bucky's is so big that look, we're literally in a roundabout right now. And this is me and Britt's first time seeing a Bucky's and this looks so big it's so much bigger than I actually expected I know it's the largest gas station in the US and this one is currently the largest but wow looks like I'm driving into a superstore right now so let's head in there and check out this Bucky's look at how insanely big this place is like it just keeps going on and on all the merch that they've got. Wow, this place is insane. This whole section is like Bucky's branded stuff, and it's it's actually insane. Like they got stuff for dogs, even Halloween themed stuff. We've seen some Christmas and fall, and then all the stuff even for dogs. Bucky's really knows how to market themselves. They even have wrapping paper, and they have party hats. So insane. So what I really respect about Bucky's is their stuff looks high quality and the prices actually aren't bad. $22 for the Bucky's hoodie. Such fair prices. Well Brent, we uh, kind of filled this card already and now we're just getting to the sweet section and the rest of it. So definitely gotta grab some of these. We'll go with the pecans. And of course, we gotta get some fever nuggets. So what's awesome is they have all these coffee stations. And if you follow Brett over here, all these spots where you can add whatever you want to your coffee. How is it? That's really good. So that was our first Bucky's experience and wow were we blown away. Now we are going tomorrow before we leave so I'm going to stitch that in here for what we tried. Alright Joe from the future from day two at Bucky's. I do have to say first I went to the bathroom. The individual stalls for the urinals was really cool if you're a guy you know what I'm saying. And they had hand sanitizer right on the outside of it. Uh, also where you get the breakfast food they actually make the brisket right in front of you and they have a lot of good selections but now let's dive in to what we got for breakfast here's the beast burrito mm. wow that is a good breakfast burrito 9.3 out of 10 for that i got some hot sauce but i just want to take a first bite without any sauce that is good i have to deduct points on this because this kind of fell apart so the presentation factor not very good <laughs> but that is a good biscuit good sausage very good seasoning on that with a presentation factor and it falling apart i'm going to give it an 8.4 out of 10. all right last thing we're trying today is the hippo taco that smells really good mm. Britt. what do you give it uh, 8.5 out of 10. Bucky's for breakfast, definitely recommend. All right, now time to fill up with this extremely cheap gas and then head back up into the mountains. Well, we're on our way up to Klingman's Dome and if you guys look ahead of me, it is super foggy. The mountains look so mysterious right now. It's an awesome vibe but I don't know if we'll have much of a view, so hopefully we will. We're up here, so we're gonna try it, but it's literally like we're in a cloud right now. I'm gonna put my camera away till we get to the observation tower because there is a lot of moisture in the air. We made it to the top of Klingman's Dome, and just like we predicted, there are no views whatsoever. Still really awesome that we were able to make it up here though, but if you are doing this, it is straight up on a paved path, straight up. It's actually pretty exhausting, but it's not bad overall. But now we're gonna head back down to a lower climate and hopefully get some awesome shots down there. 
I do have to say though, with the fog, it does look really awesome. Glad we made it up here. So as you're driving up and down the road to Newfound Gap and back to Gatlinburg, there are beautiful views pretty much everywhere you go. And what's really nice about it is there's pull-offs on the road and people do go pretty slow, but sometimes people will whip it around these corners. But nonetheless, definitely worth taking in the views of these beautiful mountains, especially with the actual smoky look that they got right now. All right, now to end the day, we are here at Anakista which seems like a pretty cool place to go. Soon we'll be up on those gondolas headed up the mountain. So let's go there now. Well, we made it on the chairlift at Anakista. Britt got a little worried she wasn't gonna get on the right way, but we're good. And now we're slowly working our way up to all the fun this place has to offer. And the views are already starting to look awesome. But they're only gonna get better as we go up. Very beautiful up here. This looks awesome. Very well decorated for the season. We really only came up here to do one thing, and that is the treetop skywalk. But before we do that, we're gonna head all the way up there and see those views. Okay, to get up this tower, it looks like all stairs, but the views are definitely going to be great. This is cool, a little glass walkway. Beautiful views of the Smokies. For a perspective of how high up this is, that over there is downtown Gatlinburg and the rest of the strip. All right, time to hit the treetop skywalk. Let's go see what this is all about. Not really sure what these are supposed to be, but I didn't realize this was a paved path. Oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, I thought it was more like a boardwalk path. So hopefully it is once we get closer down to where we're supposed to be going. Okay, this looks awesome. Let's go explore this. All right, so this is a little bit better than I actually had thought at first. I'm definitely having fun. This thing's pretty bouncy, but Brittany looks scared. I'm not scared. Wow, this is beautiful. Definitely worth it especially with that nice sky lift that we had to get up here. This is beautiful. All right, it looks like we're towards the end of this, but I do want to tell you guys, it is $40 per adult to Anakista. Very steep, but it is a lot of fun. Now there is a lot more to do here that we're not going to be doing. There's a mountain coaster, there's zip lining. There's so much you can do here, but those are extra costs. So just check out the website and see if you want to do anything when you come to Gatlinburg. It started raining, so we're going to take the Ridge Rambler back down. And that's what the Ridge Rambler is. Well, our time in Anakista was a little short, but the rain finally did stop. We're headed to Chicken Guy for dinner, which is a Guy Fieri chicken place. So let's head there down the parkway now. All right, time to try some Chicken Guy. Make everything that guy. All right, so those of you guys that have watched my channel for a while, you know I love the Guy's burgers. So here's his chicken sandwich. I'm really excited to try this. I went with the sauce boss, got the Nashville hot honey, and the buttermilk ranch, and you just put it on your sandwich yourself. So I'm gonna put it on and then we're gonna try it. And I sauced it up. Time to take a bite. Here we go. Mm. Those sauces are good. That's a good chicken sandwich. I'm gonna go with an 8.9 out of 10. Really good. These fries are also very delicious. The seasoning is great on these. And they also got a pretty good crunch to them. All right guys, we're back from downtown Gatlinburg and I do have to say, Chicken Guy was amazing. But that wraps up everything we had for today. But do stay with us because tomorrow, right before we leave back to go to PA, we're gonna be doing the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail one more time. So I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, guys. We just checked out of our hotel. And now we're about to head back up in hopes of seeing more black bears at the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail. So, wish us luck. So, what's nice is it is only 7.50 in the morning. There is one car behind us, but ahead of us, there's absolutely nobody, and we're about to be on the Motor Nature Trail. So, fingers crossed we see some black bears. It is a little dark right now, but this should be a good time to see black bears. So, hopefully we got some luck. Well, there we go. That was some awesome bear sighting right there. Right off the road, just what we wanted. Apparently at this time of year, the Roaring Fork Motor Nature Trail is the spot to see bears. Before we leave, we want to get a couple more awesome shots of the beautiful motor trail that's here. And as you get towards the end, you kind of follow this beautiful stream. And we're headed down that way because there's a really awesome bridge and it looks beautiful. Beautiful views everywhere. Definitely the perfect place to get some awesome shots. Guys, well that's it for our time here in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and Gatlinburg. Thank you guys for coming along on the adventure. Please like and subscribe.